from start to finish with this one what made you most proud with your guys um well the fact that we we, we played with some energy uh, you know after you know playing last night in miami and getting in late and um i was a little concerned whether we would have any you know any pop mm -hmm. you know and what we did and uh um we did um and it all started with uh, uh with, with lebron you know he set the tone early uh, in, in which uh, in which he pushed the ball and and, and uh, everybody else seemed to kind of like kind of got on board and um, I was just really proud of the fact that we played with a lot of energy. Uh, you know, we had a couple of moments where we had some defensive letdowns, but for the most part, we uh, stayed with the game plan um, and we were able to sustain our energy from uh, from start to finish. You were at uh, DC with the Wizards for the end of Michael Jordan's career. Um, mm -hmm. but, so it wasn't prime, Miller, but, but how you compare having someone being on the coaching staff for both LeBron and Jordan, how do you compare the two? Oh, man, that's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. Um, I mean, Mike, Mike was uh, uh, certainly on the... Um, you know, like on the tail end of his uh, of his uh, of his of his playing uh, playing legacy. Um, you know, LeBron. You know, you know he's doing things like he did back when he was 20 years old. You know, um, I, I had a conversation with um, uh, with Doug Collins about you know about Michael when he had him early, um, and, and from the sound of it, there were a lot of similarities. Um, certainly, Michael was. You know, he was uh, as good as a finesse player as there was. Um, you, you know, you, you just never seen anything like LeBron, though, with his size, his speed, his power. Um, I mean, he's, you know, he's something different, you know. Um, but, but one thing that the both guys uh, do have in common, they both are driven. You know, they're, they're really driven to, to win and to be the best. And, um, you know, with those guys you know, out on the floor, you know, Chances are you're gonna you're gonna win some games. Were you there? Uh, he, Dave probably looked this up. I didn't. Were you there in 2001 when Michael Streak stopped? They when he stopped at 866. Uh, I am not sure. It was 2001? Yeah. You're on the staff. Um. So the question is, do you remember that? The answer is no. The answer is no. <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> how is uh, quite obvious, but how how's the training? changed for these guys from I mean you talk about LeBron's doing things that he was doing at 20 you know there's not many I don't think I ever think of an athlete doing that how has the training regimen changed for these guys that he's doing today compared to what Michael was doing 15 years? oh it's, it's tra changed tremendously um, you know now today's player uh, they do spend more time um, I think in the weight room uh, they have their own personal trainers they they're, they're more they're more body conscious you know um, they do a little bit more um, as far as nutrition is concerned um, I think if you look at uh, uh, players you know a few years ago they they weren't as um, you know when you look at them they weren't as uh, as a specimen as these players are today I think you look at guys today you can see that they all you know, spend a lot of time in the weight room. They they change eating habits. They 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 really um, they really uh, you know they you can see they look different. Um, uh, still athletic, uh, still fast, still quick. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's a little different uh, today than it was uh, you know you know say uh, 20 25 years ago. Rodney looked like he came up lame in the third quarter. How was he able to? Play? Yeah, I think he tweaked. I think he tweaked it a little bit. Um, he came out the game. He motioned to come out the game. We brought him out the game, but he was able to kind of shake it off. And uh, you know, trainer said he was good to go, so I got him right back in there. Is there anything in particular that you think got J.R. Smith going the way he played tonight? They got who going? J.R. Smith. Wow. I, you know, I think it was the. Uh, I think it was the canine we had at the shoot around this morning. Uh, we had. Um, we actually had a, had a uh, breakfast brunch this morning, and I walk in the room, and there JRE is sitting on the floor, uh, and there's, um, I think it was a lab. Um, he's sitting on the floor patting the lab, and um, I think it was the canine that got him going. I can tell he's, he was very fond of that dog, and uh, we're going to have to get that dog back for more, to more, to more, uh, to more shooter rounds. Was it associated with UNC? The I'm, not, I'm not sure. I'm not, was it? Yeah, yeah. But he, he was, uh, I can see JR was 
very fond of that dog. And uh, <laughs> we, um, you know, we had, we, we had breakfast, and he was there petting the dog, and we did our walkthrough. After the walkthrough, he went back over to the dog. So um, I think it was the canine. <laughs>